At least 151 people were killed during a stampede in a party district in South Korea's capital where young people had gathered for Halloween celebrations. More from VOA's Bill Gallo, who was on the scene. An evening of fun in Seoul's popular Itaewon neighborhood quickly turned into a nightmare. A rush of people surged down this narrow alley, with hundreds eventually becoming trapped. Bystanders, including many in Halloween costumes, attempted first aid before emergency officials could arrive. Scores died, mostly those in their teens and 20s, their bodies lying on the street until emergency vehicles could work their way through the crowd. Hours later, many appeared dazed, while others continued to party, seemingly oblivious to what had happened. It is the deadliest crowd search incident in South Korea's history. Authorities will now have to make sense of how it happened. Bill Gallo, VOA News, Seoul, South Korea. Iranian students defied warnings from the feared Revolutionary Guard that nationwide protest must end by Sunday, prompting a fierce response from riot police and militia videos on social media showed. Iranians from all walks of life have been protesting since the death of 22-year-old Masha Amini in the custody of the morality police. What began as an outrage over her death on September 16th evolved into the one of the toughest challenges to Iran since the 1979 revolution. Videos on social media showed confrontations between students and riot police and other forces in universities all over Iran. Lebanon's president, Michael Allen, has left the country's presidential palace, marking the end of his six-year term without a replacement. That leaves the small nation in a political vacuum that's likely to worsen its historic economic meltdown. As announced term ends, the country is being run by a caretaker government after the prime minister-designate failed to form a new cabinet following May 15th parliamentary elections. Anon and his supporters warned such a government doesn't have full power to run the country, saying that weeks of constitutional chaos lay ahead. In a speech outside the palace Sunday, Anon told thousands of supporters that he has accepted the resignation of the government. There's a new threat of increased global hunger after Russia suspended a U.N. broker deal on Ukrainian grain shipments, AP correspondent Karen Jamas reports. Russia announced that they will no longer take part in the U.N. agreement to allow safe passage to ships carrying grain from Ukraine to other parts of the world. President Joe Biden called the move outrageous. The president said Russia should honor their commitment to the deal. The grain initiative has allowed 9 million tons of grain to leave Ukraine imports since July when the deal was signed. The grain agreement has succeeded in bringing down global food prices, which have fallen by approximately 15% from their peak in March. I'm Karen Chamas. Brazilians began voting Sunday in a polarizing presidential runoff election, pitting far-right President Jair Bolsonaro against his political nemesis, former leftist President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, Both are well-known divisive figures who stir passion as much as loathing. The incumbent vows to safeguard conservative Christian values, while the challenger promises to return the country to a more prosperous past. More than 120 million Brazilians are expected to cast ballots. Because the vote is conducted electronically, final results are usually available within hours of the polls closing. The British government insisted Sunday it has robust cybersecurity for government officials. It comes after a newspaper reported that former Prime Minister Liz Truss's phone was hacked while she was British Foreign Minister. The Mail on Sunday said that the hack was discovered when Truss was running to become Conservative Party leader and Prime Minister in the summer. It said that the security breach was kept secret by then Prime Minister Boris Johnson and the head of the Civil Service.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.